All right, welcome back, everybody. Oh, right, we abandoned that woman's husband. Hey! Yeah, it should be fine. It's the 18th century. He Fuck shouldn't her. have gone right. into the so, portal with us. A gentleman approached me as I waited. He challenged me to complete my upcoming expedition within 80 days and offered a reward on completion. All right, yeah! I don't think we'll live for longer than 80 days, so... And I'm going to try and recruit a cultist because oh. we don't have anyone I mean, to go you know. With us. I'm actually a little surprised that H.P. Lovecraft doesn't have cultists in the starting party. That actually, that does kind of disappoint me, but I guess Aleister Crowley, like, actually being the guy who's, like, behind all the mysticism, that makes sense. Oh, it makes perfect sense. But I feel like, I, you know... Cultists don't pop up very much in starting parties, though. No, they don't. They really don't, do they? Uh, all right, so should we take machetes or rope? I think machetes, right? We have, we have four, uh, I've taken some chocolate rations. Should we just take six chocolate rations and call it a day? I mean, we burned through it really quick last time, so I think oh, we're going to need it. Christ, all right, that was <laughs> just the pistol. I'm so nervous about this. We have not been doing well. For somebody who's played a lot of this game, I sure am not doing very well. All right, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try this. Well, that's, that's why it's important to note that it still is an alpha, you know? They're, they're still balancing and refining a lot of the, the gameplay. True, true, true. And any time was... you impl implement something new, it's going to throw everything out of whack. Oh, completely. A trading caravan had set up camp here. The colorfully dressed trader had a lot of useful goods on offer. Most of them seemed to be the remains of other failed expeditions. <laughs> We're gonna die here. Whoa, what is that? That's a crystal ball. I remember that. Uh, crystal ball reveals like certain areas of the map to you. Oh, um, so it was sort of what the the this circle kind of like that, except that you can carry it with you. Um, hmm. Hill creation and abomination doesn't seem worth it. No, I'm sorry. So yeah. that'll be all I get out of you. Those are all luxury items. It kind of bum bums me out that the trader disappears, but I I, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. All right, so yeah. this question mark or this question mark? Well, the one to the left is closer. They both cost um, 11. And I think... Oh, oh, okay. Actually, this one's closer. The one to the right is closer. Okay, well, let's go there. All right. We'll try it. What's the worst that could happen? This, apparently. Uh, what? What? My vision became blurry when I rubbed my eyes and looked up again. I was back where I had stepped into a terrible The terrible portal? portal. What? But... Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. The pause uh. icon? Okay, we're gonna pause. Yeah. All right, so, uh, welcome back. There was an update uh, in between in between episodes, pardon my hiccups. Um, <laughs> so here we are. Yep. At least this way we'll get to explore some of the, the other stuff like the Necronomicon again. If yes. we choose H.P. Lovecraft and again, we Maybe could... I won't make such shitty choices. <laughs> well, it's it's really hard to not make shitty choices when you're introduced to new things. That's valid. That's valid, I'll give you that. All right, um, John Hazinga, you, you're Johan Hazinga, Mary Kingsley, They give you canvas, but and an ar artist, but no easel. What? Maybe, maybe you don't need the easel anymore. Actually, that would be kind of nice because there's too many components to make the painting useful. Yeah, even one was too many components. Yeah. Uh, Frederick Courtney Sellis has the hunting rifle. Uh, Freya Stark. I just I love Freya Stark. I love Freya Stark. <gasps> <clears throat> I don't know. What do you think? Uh, do we keep with the same one? Do we go back? I don't know. What do you think? What are you feeling? Um, let's choose a character that we are going to do a little bit better with so that we Fred can explore some of the other Frederick Courtney Sellis. Perfect. Because he's got the hunting rifle, which used to be the single best uh, gun in the game. I don't know if it still is. So our competitors That's this true. time are Nikola Te Tesla, Freya Stark, Alexander David Neal, and Isabella Bird. All right. Let's uh, let's try it. Here we go. The magnificent grasslands. Looks like we've got a single shrine and a single native village. Nice and simple, uh, at least. Uh, deliver a message. Seems simple enough. Let's go ahead and set sail. Okay. He marked the village. That that's there. Does that mean that the thing is there? I mean, that doesn't seem. I think. 
We'll, tr- we'll try the village first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is I mean, we know there's, we, there's a village and a shrine, right? So then that question mark has to be the shrine, right? Supposedly. I guess... Maybe it doesn't track everything? It. I, I get the feeling that it doesn't, because otherwise we'd have a million little icons below each region, like the circles, for example. Plus, then there's no exploration. Should we try and recruit the warrior, the animal handler, or the water buffalo? Well, we don't have any warriors right now, so I think that's actually pretty important. Sure, we'll recruit the warrior. Uh, the warrior gets a reduced chance of triggering the oh, combat. that's nice. And he's a local. All right, good enough. Uh, we will trade a little bit. Maybe I can get these... No. No, I can't get those dr... Wait. Eh. I really hate the tent. I don't... I don't like it either. Unless the tent works differently now, in the old game, the way that the tent worked was you would set up camp and you would prepare all of your things and you would put all of your valuable things inside the tent and then you would leave and then you would forget them. Yeah, and it generally was never worth no. going back to get the no. stuff. Nor could you really spend the sanity so to I'm do so. And, I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Because I like the drums. The drums are really useful, especially since the drums can be done... Uh, the drums can be used like this. Yeah, hey, the, drums, the drums are super nice. I think the, the thing that would make the tent useful is if you could pack it up and put it back in your inventory. Yes, with all of the stuff inside it. That would be useful. Well, that would be game-breaking, actually. Um, yes, but still useful. <laughs> it would be incredibly <laughs> useful, yeah. I, I think you should still be able to put stuff in it. So say you're in a, a very, like, rich region. Maybe you're, you're at the pyramid, right? Um... <laughs> The spirits of dead natives materialized in front of us. They told us that they'd been killed by unnatural monsters that were breeding in a nearby cave. If we'd kill the monsters, they promised that we'd find a worthwhile magical reward on their corpses. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. That's new. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try that. Uh, show me the cave. Uh, oh, well, nice and close. Yeah. Oh, that's actually perfect too, because they're, we're probably gonna get into a fight over there. Is this a new? Uh, We've, we encountered this once in our other playthrough. Yeah, but is this the new artwork for it? Because I feel like it used to be just, just like generic hills with like a spring over here. It it looks similar, but it looks more beautiful. I, I wonder if they touched it up. It looks more detailed. It than does. It, was it really does. Uh, good um, job, Machine Image. Your pixel art is beautiful again. <laughs> the the only thing I actually have to say against it is that it almost has more detail than any of the other art in the game so far. Maybe it's a stepping point for where the rest of them will be. Yeah, it makes me wonder if they're going to be um, touching up most of their art assets, in which case, I'm gonna argue that it is, it is a little bit more like an alpha then, because alpha is usually just placeholder art. This, I really hope, hope this isn't placeholder art because it's beautiful. This cook, look at him, look at him. Yeah. He's clearly a chef. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the expedition would not be stopped by a lack of torches. We pressed forward into the darkness. At first, I thought we would make it, but then I perceived a thump followed by someone yelling. Oh. Pain. And we didn't lose anyone. Oh, good. He was bleeding, but he's fine. That's... We've seen worse. All right, we found the cave. The native ghosts were talking about. Everything was covered in spider webs and oh. rotten, cracked open bones were scattered across the floor. Before we were able to investigate further, we heard the discomforting clicking sounds. It was too late. I realized we'd made a terrible mistake. We were attacked by a pack of giant, giant spiders. Oh my god! Oh! 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 oh. Uh, uh. That's new. Yeah, All right. that's well, definitely new. Alright, well, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna... I, I encountered a similar situation... I'm gonna save that, Wait. I think. Oh, it's just tutorial text? Yeah, I guess it's teaching you so, how to fight. I'm gonna try and see if I can get an eye. No, I can't. All right, whatever. Yeah, well. well so I, I, I encountered these spiders when I was playing through with H.P. Lovecraft, and uh, I had dynamite, and it was at that point that I really wished you could use dynamite as a weapon. <laughs> Bringing me back to the Call of Cthulhu days. Yeah! Wait, there we go. Aim shot, four. All right. Nice. Um, I still didn't kill the spider. The fact that they have ten health... Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think we're gonna make it. Yeah. Oh no. I was helpless dead to abandon the wounded. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> can I even. Wait. I mean, you can balloon out, right? It was impossible. I mean, oh, more... good. <laughs> good. <laughs> we are so fucked. This expedition is starting. Oh my god. We're so dead. We're so dead. Holy shit. Probably. Oh my. God. The oh, that's that... it. That's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> done with this one. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, speed bonus first. Bam. 200 points for that? Was that there before? No. That's nice. No, That's no nice. it was not. That makes that um that little racing thing in the side so wait, a little bit. We got 200 points for being first. I finished no shrine, so I've got no go gold in anything. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's how they've been getting all of their fucking gold this whole time. Like, in the last one, <gasps> when they would always, like, wildly outpace you, it wasn't just that it was calculating the game, like, selling all of its stuff. It's that it was calculating in that first bonus that you weren't getting because you were just taking your time with it. Right, right. That's such bullshit. All right, uh, <laughs> so bu Bullet Hoarder, Lone Survivor, or Fresh Air fin Fanatic. I'm inclined to say Bullet Hoarder. Like, yeah. We're going to be alone on this one. Bullet Hoarder is pretty fucking useful all around. That's how I got more than 20 bullets in one playthrough. That just seems silly to me. Like, why would you ever need more than that? But I guess, <laughs> you know, in the last playthrough I said that, and then we used 15 bullets in three fights, which, uh, mm, all right. right. I'm just going to go ahead and keep those. Yeah. If you don't mind. And we have all of $30. <laughs> yeah. This is going to This is going to go. <laughs> I, I, I can tell already. Okay. Limited grasslands. Well, this will be for the next episode. Oh, God. Uh, must we? <laughs> How do we lose so many people in F Expedition Expedition 1? That's why you don't fight giant spiders, I guess. <laughs> Bet. Maybe in the next episode my hiccups will be gone. <laughs> we'll see you next time. All see right, you see you, everyone. This game is so much harder. <laughs> much, much So harder. much harder. It's good for the players that have already gotten used to it and kind of yeah. found a way to, like... I'll give you that. Beat it in a routine.